Hello, everyone, and we're back with another episode, episode 51 of Ask the Landlord with our favorite landlord, Albert Dweck. I'm Melissa. I'm one of Albert's producers and a former New York City, Pittsburgh, Lafayette, Louisiana, and Washington, D.C. renter. And together, we're going to be asking this landlord some questions. If you have a question for Albert, leave us a voicemail on the Ask the Landlord hotline. That number is 646 580 30 one five fifty one Albert, can you believe it? Melissa, I, I really can't believe it. And um, it just goes to show you, you take little steps and you get somewhere where you never thought you'd be. And uh, I'm really excited that we've been able to do this. Uh, it's been a labor of love and I'm excited about the the feedback we've received so far. And um, I, you know, I get people on the street say, oh, there's this landlord, you know, uh, it's yeah. cute. And, and I really... Um, we're out to help people, so please do call in with your questions, and we'll answer them online, uh, right here. And you know, follow the follow the podcast. Um, we're really excited about it, so we want to keep it going. Fifty questions down. Here's the fifty-first question. It involves something that we look at every day. We look through it. We want it to be clean. So I'm wondering about windows. Are landlords responsible for cleaning the outside of my windows? And if so, how often? You know, Melissa, that's another great question. Um, It's a yes and a no um, question. Um, I don't know. I'm going to tell you it's a yes and a no. So, and I had to do research on this one. So uh, I, I... Obviously, I'm a landlord and I I have to deal with this. And then in my own apartment, um, you know, I have these windows and I'm like, oh, who cleans them? (laughs) So the the short answer is the landlord is not obligated to clean the windows. The outside. The outside, right? Ooh. However, that's like telling me oh, you know, it's dirty outside and, you know, that we shouldn't keep the lights on or whatever it is. It's like the place has to be good looking. It has to, um, people, you want people to be proud that they live there. You want, you want to have pride of ownership as an owner, but you want to have pride of ownership for the people that are living there. Those, you know, that's like your home. So that is your home. So, you know, the landlord our property owner will do better to pay attention to things like that. It doesn't cost a lot of money to fix the, to clean the windows or do little fixes or cleanups like that. Um, But it just takes a little bit of attention. And I know it's hard because, you know, it's like the boiled frog idea. You you heard about the boiled frog? It's like, this is like a, 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 a proverb or a, mass, a business uh, uh, story. It's like, you know, if if you have a pot of boiling water on the stove, a frog's not gonna if it, a frog's not gonna jump into it, he's gonna jump right out of it, mm-hmm. right? So it's not gonna put itself in boiling water. But but if you have a frog that's in water that's lukewarm, and then you raise it one degree an hour, at, at some point the frog's gonna get boiled because they, he's gonna get used to the situation that is. That's not satisfactory over mm-hmm. time. So it's like, and I was at one of my properties the other day. I'm like, oh, we should clean this. We should fix that. We should, you know, and those small things, but but they make a difference in how people feel. And I think the windows are a big part of that. So I encourage uh, building owners to um, pay attention to things like that, especially the windows uh, on some regular basis. And I think the the for a residence, you know, you say to your landlord, "Hey, I think I'd be, you know, it would be better for everybody if we clean the windows. How about we help out or whatever or something?" So I think yes. So the answer is short answer is no. The landlord's not obligated, but the long answer is every you know, the landlord is obligated. That's I love it because the last thing a landlord wants is for you know some tenant to be cleaning their windows on like the fourth floor themselves on the outside and, you know, have an injury got, you know, that goes, that should have gone without saying, (laughs) right. You never know. People are dangerous. Right. 
I I think in my apartment in New York, Alan, I remember I was on the second floor, but I remember him like standing up and trying to clean it because I think there was a spot or something, maybe some bird poo. But yeah, don't do that. So just communication and ask the landlord to clean it. Right. I think so. You should, but when you, it's not about, and I think we talked about this many times on the podcast, so it's definitely a, a theme that I want to address. When you, it's like make an offer or solution. you could say to the, to your building owner, you know, I love living here and I think it would really enhance the property's value and everyone's experience to have this cleaned. Can it, you know, how can I help with that? That's more of a, a thing, you know, that I would, that how I would approach it as opposed to, can I get my windows cleaned? Right. That's true. Right. That's a good point. What but about? It shows a little bit of like a, on the part of the, uh, the first of all, the, the, the residents, like uh, it's not something the landlord's obligated to do. It's, it is something they should do, uh, but everything costs money. So um, especially in high rises, obviously, uh, and that, you know, landlords want to maintain the value of their properties. They want to get, uh, tenants. They want tenants to stay. They want tenants to continue to pay. So one way to, um, do that is to make sure your building is well maintained. And, uh, obviously, you know, if it's, if it's so bad that it's uh, dark or whatever, uh, you know, you have to do that, but it's not, uh, it's not something that uh, landlords, uh, think about every day, but it's good that, you, you know, landlords and tenants should have a dialogue about things like that. So. But now they will, because we've mentioned it on the podcast. So hopefully all the landlords listening, maybe they'll be proactive, clean those windows. Great question. There is no obligation, right? Uh, but there is an obligation. Right. Also, so we have a few more minutes. What about the bars on the windows you see in like these big cities? Do you know anything about those? Are those required? Is it just from like the seventies? No. Um, those bars. So there are, um, it's a good question. Um, if in New York, I can't speak to other cities. So there's, there's a couple of different kinds of bars, right? There's bars to keep people out. And then there's bars to keep people in. <laughs> okay. which, one are you, which ones are you asking about? Keep the ones out. Okay. So then there's safety uh, bars that people put up to for security to keep people out. Usually they're on on windows that are accessible to the street somehow. Um, you know, obviously you want to make sure that if you're putting them in or if your landlord's putting them in, um, you have proper means of egress. Um, so that's an important uh, thing to consider. You don't want to be closing up a, a fire exit or anything like that. Um, uh, you, you brought up a good point. I did want to tell you about the bars on, uh, in New York city, there's a requirement. If you have children of a certain age that live in a unit, then you have to put bars. Oh, I didn't know that. on the window, um, to stop children from crawling out. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you actually have to, um, you have to certify and register, you know, that you're doing that. And then, um, it's a violation if you don't. Um, so it's like very, uh, it's, uh, that's why I was saying put keeping them in versus, uh, keeping them out. So, uh, there's, um, uh, very sensitive and important rules about that, uh, that should be, uh, uh, checked into, uh, New York City, we have to put bars if there's uh, a certain uh, aged child uh, in the uh, apartment for that reason. Wow. That is yeah. so interesting. I never thought of that. I always, as an aesthetic person, we, I just walk by and I'm like, oh, those are so not yeah. appealing, That's but so, there's so much more to them. It's a violation. Um, if interesting. You don't, if you, if don't, you don't. Yeah. And is it? I mean, I know it's like the ground level, usually like if there's a basement or maybe the first floor. It's not the upstairs. It's really the upstairs ones that you're worried about. <laughs> right. For the kids. Uh, for the kid. Right. right. So, you know, you've heard of kids crawling out windows, um, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that, you know, you turn your head for a second and the kids like where, you know, all of it. So you want to make sure that, you know, um, 
the apartment is safe uh, for you know young people and everybody who lives there. So those are things that um, you know you should. It's good conversation to bring up with your landlord anyway, and say, "Listen, I have a baby. they're walking around or whatever, and I'm I want to make sure it's safe. What can we do? Have a conversation." You know. Yeah. That's so interesting. I'm so glad I brought that up. I never knew that about bars. And I love that we should, all the landlords listening now will be proactive about cleaning their windows and all that. So thank you so much, Albert. You're welcome.